Hi everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create light rays out of a text plus box like the ones that are over here. So let's just jump right over into it. All right, we have DaVinci started and we have a new project started. So what we'll do first is we'll make sure our effects are turned on. We'll grab a fusion composition and just drop it in here. And we're going to jump over into the Fusion page and work from over here. I just move our media out. This is the output. This is what you're going to see. And we'll grab a text box, drop him right there, give him some text. We'll just call this Light Rays. Okay, and you don't see anything here because we haven't connected it yet. So let's connect so we can see what we're doing. There we go. And let's crank our size up a bit. And let's, the tracking is the distance between each character. So let's just bring that up a little bit just for fun. Okay, so now we have our text and we can see it. So up here, click on our little uh, search magnifying glass and just type in rays. Pull it up for you. Click on it and drag it down in here into the area. And we'll disconnect our text from our media out and name him to the input of our rays. Bring our output of our rays to the input of our output. And now we have rays. And we have all these different things we can do. So that's not looking too good. White is each color the Colors change this quite a bit, so but we're just going to work in light. So the blend is the percentage of the original image that's blended within the light rays. So if I bring this down a little bit, this is one. I, if I'm working with white, this is one I will usually bring down somewhere right around in there. Okay, see that straightened it up pretty good. Okay. The decay basically sets the length of the light rays. Now you have to be careful with this because you can't go too far. I'm just going to leave him where he was because that's pretty good. The weight is going to be the fall off. Bring him up a little bit. Exposure is the intensity. Set it wherever you want, whatever works with the color you're using. The threshold has to do with the luminance of the color. White is completely luminance at all points, so this does not affect it. This is one you might have to change if you're using different colors. The darker the color, the more you have to adjust this. And again, you cannot use black for your text color because it will not show. There's no luminance to black, so it can't pick up on it. Anyway, that is basically how you create some light rays. Okay, I did miss one of the controls on the, the light ray node is the center. And that is sets the center point for the light source. So you can either change it here or you can use your controls over here. So you can see how that kind of changes where the light's coming from. And then you can do it up and down also. You can do horizontally and vertically. And then as with most, most things in DaVinci, if you come over here and double click on the, the heading, it'll recenter it. I knew I'd missed one, so that's all the controls there. So if we jump back over here, that's what they look like. Pretty easy stuff to do. Again, it takes, depending on the color you pick for your text, you can, uh, it can take some tweaking over here. Now I did say that you can get different color light rays. And the way you can do that is if you come over here to settings, if you turn off one of these color channels and you can do these in any combination, 
you see what you're basically doing is turning off a color channel, turning on a color channel. You don't have complete control. It's not like being able to select a color. And again, you can do these in combinations too. And the alpha channel will absolutely change it also. It's not like picking a color, but it, it does give you a little bit of control over your light colors. So let's just go back all to white and jump back over there. And that's how basically you can put some, some light rays onto some text using, a, using Fusion in a Text Plus box. Hope you found this informative and helpful. Everyone have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you.